up, Tiana T. You yeah, that's me, and I'm back at it again with another reaction video. So, I split the video up in two halves because Clarence's video was long as hell, like 45 minutes, and for me to talk and get what I gotta say out in them like 45 minutes and watch all of that with y'all, it's a whole lot in one video. So, to break it up, so y'all split it up. Anyway, where we're at is Clarence finally like letting Leslie know like he ain't coming back. He said, that was my problem with you. And that, like, that's just what it is. And I fell in love with Queen. And basically he's giving her the explanation and closure that she needs. So we're just gonna pick up from where we left off. And without further ado, we're gonna get right into the video. So I'm going through this a little quick. Hopefully you guys are keeping up with me. You know what I'm saying? Oh, we here. We tuned in, sir. Most, you know what I'm saying? is when you said you said it's obvious that i was messing with queen because she was loaded with money and clout i feel like i've said this before but again queen didn't have money when when i met her you know what i'm saying everything was taken away from her everything everything was in the other person's account like she had no credit card the credit cards were taken away from her like she didn't have money when she was with me, you feel me? And that's been proven on many occasions. That's also been proven too, because I, that's just how Queen is. Queen saying, well, you keep all the money, I'm just gonna leave. Cause like, you devastated, you heartbroken. And plus she working on giving him a taste of his own medicine at this point in time. So I could picture her like not having nothing. I'm pretty sure yeah, like he can vouch for that. You feel me? Like, I feel like I'm a man of like dignity. I'm a man of pride. You know what I'm saying? I got a lot of pride. And for me, I mess with a girl because she has a lot of money or clout. Just, it just, it doesn't sit right with me with, with the type of person that I am. Did being famous make her stand out in my DMs? Of course it did. Just. You can't knock them. If somebody with a blue check you know, hit me up, I'ma notice that. Or somebody hit me up with like over 400,000 followers. I don't know how many she had at the time, but I'll be like, who is this trying to talk to me? Like, who is this at my neck right now? Like, it would, you know, definitely make you want to respond, makes you see what's up, of course. I mean, that is an honest and genuine standpoint. If I slide in one of your DMs, my shit is right there. You're going to see that and you're going to answer. For I'm seeing it immediately. I'm sorry. Everything I'm doing. Money and clout. It just like, it really, it really, that really pissed me off. You feel me? That right there. You know why? Because I didn't, I didn't mess with her for money and clout. You feel me? I messed with her because she's beautiful. I messed with her because she's strong. I, I messed with her because she's goofy. I messed with her because she. I didn't expect right. this. I messed with her because she showed me that there's a, there's a, there's more to Clarence than I see in Clarence. What else, what else I got in? She's selfless. She's daring. She, she's great in bed. She believed in me. She I'm sorry. The worst thing you can hear when you think somebody left me for clout and fame. And just in general, when somebody left you for another girl, you hate to hear that, yeah, and she got great sex. He didn't say she had good sex. He said she had great sex. I don't want to hear that shit. If that's my ex, I knew you for five years, I see myself marrying you and shit like that, and I loved you. Like, I, like, you know, like he said, like, she was only interested in, like, being in love, and that's it. I don't want to hear that shit. That's got to be crushing, and goddamn, and him to say she's seen more in me than I've seen in myself that's love and that's 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 the kind of love I resonate with that's the kind of love I like to give that like I see more in you than what you can be like and I'm gonna like try to be on your side and push you to that and that's what you should aspire to have not that toxic shit that they had but they was young can't fault them but that toxic shit that y'all be liking and shit like that on the uh, inter on the internet that ain't real life that's real love that I saw this in you before you saw it in yourself. That, ooh, ooh we Invested in me. Not a lot of women that can say that. Invested, that's a powerful word. Doing, she invested in, in me. <laughs> she seen I had potential and she invested in me. She bought me a camera. 
I didn't ask her to do that. <laughs> I didn't ask her to do that. She just bought it. She said I was vlogging off the phone and just bought me a camera. I had the big ass cannon trying to carry around the big ass cannon. I remember that. That's why I fuck with her. Not because of all of that nonsense that y'all say. The queen I know. I definitely don't look at her as a, as a check or as money or as an opportunity. That is the mother of my child. And I love her to death. I would die for her. I would die for her on any given day. <laughs> Why well, I feel like he's talking to me. <laughs> Why well, I feel like he, he's, he's speaking to my soul. He looking us dead in my eyes. Like, he got good eye contact with the camera. I feel like he's talking to me, talking to my soul. Like, I feel the gene witness all in his spirit through the, through the computer. Oh, my gosh. I'm finna tear up like, this is my man. This is not my man. What the fuck? Oh, you feel me? And, I, and just like how I'm a nigga, even if me and Queen don't work out, um, I put that on everything I love. I will forever love Queen. She has a special place in my heart forever, bro. Forever. I feel like we've changed and grew with each other in a way that I just don't think would have happened with 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 my ex. <laughs> this is so beautiful. I didn't think it was gonna turn into this. Like this is a beautiful situation that we're witnessing right now. But that's that unconditional love. This is goals right here. This is true black love that I don't care if we don't work out. That's the same thing that Queen kind of spit on him that, A, if we don't work out, like, forever got my heart. That's like that timeless love. That's that unconditional. That's that it don't matter what you do, where you go, or where you've been, I will still always love you. And that's, that's some powerful love. Like, I... God... If I could just get a, a, a man like Clarence, he ain't got to look like Clarence. He ain't got to dress like Clarence. He ain't got to have pre-clout like Clarence. But damn, if I get that unconditional love, just like Clarence is giving Queen and Queen got for Clarence, that's a beautiful thing. Like, if I could just get that, I swear I'd be the happiest woman in the world. I, I'll, stop, I'll stop being reckless. I'll stop being crazy i'll stop just making dumb decisions i'll go towards my goals 100 percent and won't have nothing to worry about in the world because i know i'm taken care of i know he was sent by you but damn whatever queen said as a prayer i need that like somebody put it in my ear whisper in my ear please and and she got me emotional because like people like people try to play you feel me that's how all of this shit started like a lot of like a lot of shit that i get into you know what I'm saying? On the internet and shit, like, I really don't like the internet. I really don't get into it with a lot of people on the internet. But, like, a lot of shit that I've been get, that I, that I've been into is mainly me defending my girl and my queen. You feel me? And I really don't give a fuck. You feel me? But, like, when you start saying shit that I'm, that, like, my, my girl, you feel me? And one day my son got to see you saying that I, I'm with, I, I got with his mom. For money and clout, that's the mother of my kids. You tripping? That woman mean the world to me. I'm picking her over you every time. I just Ouch. want to make that clear, like, and I'm, I'm not specifically talking to my ex. I'm talking to everybody out there, mo. Put some respect on my relationship, mo. It means a lot to me, mo. It really does. I'm not out here screaming it from the rooftops, and I'm not posting the best pictures with the cute outfits and all of that shit. I'm not doing all of that. But that shit mean the world to me, mom. Those people out there mean the world to me, mom. That girl, that kid mean the world to me, mom. Oh my God, it's so genuine. You feel me? So I like, a, like I need y'all to put some re some respect on my relationship or and put some respect on my girl name. You feel me? Like my girl not hasn't done no nigga nowhere near the things that you've put me through, and I had to face with you. And I, and I love her for that. I love her for that. She respects me, mom. She loves on me. she be feeling all awkward and shit. Like, and then sometimes the nigga don't even know how to feel. But I love her. I love it. I love it here. 
You know what I'm saying? I just want to, I really want to. Oh my God, that was a beautiful spill. Cause first of all, he looked at the paper not once in the middle of that. He spoke from the heart. Like, if y'all trying to say that man don't love her, I mean, y'all can't deny it at this point because the way he got so emotional, the way he got so sincere, the way he looked us dead in our freaking eyes in this camera, you can't say that he didn't love her. You can't say that he don't love her unless he's a good ass actor. But I don't see Clarence having acting skills that superb, but like, if he is acting and we find out later in life, this man needs to go straight to Hollywood Boulevard, get him an acting scene and like showcase his skills because that nigga is fucking brilliant. This nigga is on Denzel's level because this shit seems so sincere. I can't see him not genuinely loving her. I really can't. And wow, Queen, Queen is a blessed woman. What Queen went through, she deserves this. And shit, what Claire went through, which we did not know that he went through, Claire deserved this. To address that, you feel me? I just, I hate that shit. Sometimes the reason why I don't say shit, sometimes the reason why I say shit, sometimes the reason why I don't say shit is because mainly is because I'm trying to protect my queen and I'm thinking about my girl. I'm serious about mom. And this is my Period. With the world, like looking, the world looking at us on the outside in, you feel me? Let me get closer real quick. I feel like the world, the world right now looking at my situation and this situation. And that's just why I feel like, cause it, it just happens so much with other YouTube couples and everything. But the world would probably look at this situation and be like, yo, Clarence is tripping. And I'm doing this no filter, no nothing. I don't give a, I don't, like, I'm done. Like, no one's telling me how to act. No one's telling me what to say. None of that. You feel me? Leslie is, like, curvier. Or Leslie is, I like, I don't, it's, it's natural. Or what I, like, whatever the world, world may think. This is to you, Leslie. Even you may think you might be, uh, like, because you're sitting there and it's like, you're bothering me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, it, it just it bothers me because it's like you're making it seem like as if you're better than the person I'm with. For some reason, that's the vibe. That's the vibe that I got. You feel me? And I feel like the world would say that I'm tripping on they'd rather be with Leslie because of the way she looks. And you, you, maybe you feel like I'm missing out. Or maybe, maybe this is not for you. Again, I'm not trying to bash you. None, but this is just how I feel. I feel like I've been holding this, holding shit in for years. You feel me? The world may look at me and be like, oh, queen. Like, I, I, and look at Leslie and be like, oh, yeah, he really want to be with her. Or he really want to be with that. Or, you know, he missed that. Or, and you're wrong. I'm thinking this situation been building up unless Clarence has been trying to state this like because of other people. But I remember his post a while ago. I don't know what time period, but he said he needed more than just a pretty face. He needed soul food. And for a fact, we know Queen is soul food. Queen got the personality. Queen got the caring heart. Queen got a talent. Queen has beauty. And Queen has belief. She believed in him. That's so cool to me. We don't know what Leslie brings to the table, so I'm not dissing her, but Queen definitely has some soul food and more than just a pretty face. And it takes more than just a pretty face, as you see with the IG models and how a lot of them be single. It takes more than just a pretty face. I'm just saying. And you're wrong. You know what? You know what? You know what was? You you know what was wrong? You know what's one of my, my biggest problems with you? Is you never was a you you never you never was the woman I needed. And that's where that's where Queen got it. I, I hope Lizzie don't watch this. I hope her friends support it to her because if I was watching if I was watching this as Leslie, I'd be a little bit crushed. Even if it's three years later and I really don't want him. I'll be a lot. I'll be very freaking crushed because I thought you left me for clout at this point in time. I thought we were still together. 
and you come up here and tell me, because he talking to her. He ain't talking to us. He looking dead at Leslie right now, talking about some, you was never the, the girl I needed. Oh my fucking God, it got hurt. Oh, you never was the woman I needed. He gets so emotional, like, woo. And it's like, it's more, it's more than looks. It's more than looks for me. Queen is a woman, you feel me? Like, Queen is a woman, bro. My, my shorty is a woman. My shorty, my shorty about to drop an album. Speak my your boo up. I worried about three exes ago or four exes ago. My exes had exes before me and yet i'm on the topic granted you are the most popular one and yeah and again i know this is all starting because the book and all of that but you could have simply just said you didn't write the book period now it's like oh i've waited three years and i want to tell my story i just i it, that didn't... to tell us not much at all to tell us things that she think happened and not happened for a fact, but to her defense, this is how she viewed the story. Say it right with it. There was there was a another thing I wanted to address, and I I, I quite didn't understand it myself, and I still don't understand it. Um, and I mean this in the most respectful way possible. Me and Queen, we're the only ones that are still together and and let me break that down to let me explain what I, what i mean when i say that both like both my ex and queen's ex both have been in multiple relationships after us after me and queen like many exes like i'm not talking about one we're not talking about two not talking about three like many exes and i just don't understand why like our relationship gets questioned or our love for each other gets questioned we're still together like i don't get like for three years for about three years if we've dealt with her ex just doing petty click day trolling you chris is the biggest troll we've ever seen personal game and now you i feel like you're doing the same thing because you have many exes and yet you go to me Clarence, shit, even y'all watching, y'all know Clarence is a perfect topic for her to come out here and get her YouTube bag because she getting the views. We seen her previous videos. She ain't hit this many views in none of her videos. Clarence, you know you're the perfect topic. You know what it is. And shoot, we can respect it, but just don't be telling no lies, girl. I feel like you could have simply made this video and again, I do apologize for the whole health thing. Cool. All that you get, all of that, you should, you should react to that. You should have say on that. But my relationship. And then your damn business. Three years later, like y'all both got it too. Like we're happy. And all I'm saying is like, we've been together. We, we stuck it out. We're still together. We're still friends to the day. We still talk every day. We still love each other every day. Y'all too? Doing the most. Not Leslie, but Chris. Come on, like y'all y'all been moved on. So make videos about your, your current ex or your last boyfriend or your last girlfriend. Like that that's just one thing I don't understand. I I like I could never I've never I've never sat down and did a video about my ex. I've never sat down and did anything, any content revolved around my past relationship. That's crazy. That's crazy. I just think, I think we gotta chill. That's all. And I just, it's like, it just, it's, it's, it's mind boggling to me. There is, there's this memory that I have of being with you. And it, it was, it had to do with your dad. I've seen, I've seen Ooh. a conversation in your phone with your dad. And he was saying how I wasn't a real man. And that real man has a job. It has a job. And that I'm not a real man. And social media is not a job. And that you shouldn't follow me. And you shouldn't try to do what I do. These dramatic pauses be killing me.
I'll be like, damn, that was a very intense moment. He be he be making it way more intense than it should be. Like them, them, them daddy stares, them, them you gotta be fucked up. What's he on? That stuck with me so much, and this is oh boy, all my boy, what's he wrong? Kings out there, you feel me? That shit hurt me. You feel me? And that right there, that right there, like it was one of the things that just it had nothing to do with her. It was just my pride. You feel me? You talking about what? Say less. Okay, from what I'm getting from this. You know how people go through divorces and they be divorcing due to irreconcilable 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 differences that's a very ugly word but basically that's unrepairable like she really couldn't bounce back from that because how can you be with, with somebody whose dad don't believe in you, don't support you, don't really fuck with you. Like, that's kind of a hard relationship. Who want to sign up for that? And it's not Leslie's fault. Her daddy didn't know no better. Most parents don't know no better, but I can see how that could be crushing because, dang, like, that was one of his dreams. Like, he really was trying to believe in himself, and then he had all the people putting him down. He had her pulling him back, trying to just hold him back and just, like, causing him so much hell. Like, you just imagine what he's going through. Like, that's why I'm telling about what I want to do because you get people like that they be like, they no real job or they're not going to make it. Like, do something else. It's like very discouraging. But I feel him. Boy, was he wrong. Boy. I can't wait to say that. I can't wait to be like, boy, was y'all wrong. If I couldn't do this, here I am right on top. But yeah. I'm living. I get what I want. I do what I want. I fly what I want. I eat what I want. I smoke what I want. I drink what I want. I wear what I want. Buy what I want. Spoil my 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 my, my family when I want. Like I'm happy. I It's crazy. This man's so genuine. Because I, 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 I said all this was going to happen. And I just wonder how your dad feels now. What you doing, YouTube? <laughs> Honestly, she could have cut the video right here. This is a perfect part to end on. This said, like, hey, this said, like, hey. In your face, bitch. This that mic drop moment. This that bitch you thought type moment. Oh my god. Did she know this? I wonder if Leslie. I'm gonna go see if Leslie reacted to this point, but like I wonder if she know that he read that and that he saw what her daddy said and what her daddy was saying about him. I wonder if they ever talked about this. Because if they did, it's like a very big slap in the face. But where his face, where his face is right now, that gotta feel good. That gotta feel good, as in like he escaped and he made a good decision. Because that's how I'll be feeling right now. I'll be like, how does it feel? Your daddy talk all that shit about me being on YouTube, and now I'm a hot commodity. I'm a phenomenon, and here you are, single. I don't know what else she got going for herself, but here you are. Trying to get on YouTube, a place is, is not a real job. Trying to be like me. Got, ooh, 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 we. It's ironic. It's ironic. But I hope he's doing good. <laughs> I, hope, I hope you, I hope you do good. I hope you get whatever you want out of, out of, out of that or whatever you whatever you're looking for out of that. You know what I'm saying? I wish nothing, but you know what I'm saying? This is my last time. I'm not bringing, I'm not making this like a series or nothing. You know what I'm saying? I just felt like certain things are certain. I'm tired of, I'm tired of people playing with my relationship name and I'm tired of people playing with my girl name. And that's all. You feel me? And some YouTube advice. Don't go that route. 
do your own thing. I said the same thing. Don't follow him. I said the same thing. Don't be following Clarence. Don't be trying to get on YouTube to get Clarence attention. Don't be trying to go on YouTube and use Clarence as like your anchor. I said, sis, come out here and be your thing. Be genuine because they ain't gonna look good because Queen got fans. Anybody who got fans, fans are riding hard for them. I mean, like, don't do that. Just come out here, do your workouts. Do how you do your skincare because she got a nice skin. Do how she do like her maintenance, her daily upkeep because she look good. Got to be good for her. When you don't want to grow your channel to be a hate channel. My haters or my girlfriend's haters. <laughs> and people know you as Clarence X. The bitter so, X. I think, I think. And I ain't gonna lie. I do know her. I do know her as Clarence's ex. Y'all see all my videos. As you probably gonna see in this video, Clarence NYC X Leslie. <laughs> Not my fault. That's just what we know her as. And um, you should definitely do your own stuff so they love you for you and not the team. I'm all your team. Woo! And there we have it, guys. That very long video cut into half. Now we finish. Let's go ahead and get into my synopsis. And I'm going to go ahead and let y'all know now. I'm not here to have the popular opinion. I'm not here to please y'all with my opinion. I'm here to state how I feel, how I genuinely feel. And I'm known for having an unpopular opinion. And I think what this, that's what this channel is going to lead into, is being my unpopular opinion. Because I like to see things from all angles. I like to see the truth in it all. I can read between the lines. I'm not just taking what I see and then going with that and just like making it as like my final synopsis. No, 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 no. Genuine tea. So how I feel about this. First of all, I do feel like Leslie did use this for clout. And how could she not? I just want to know why she took three years to come out here and make this video and finally try to defend herself and finally try to get on this clout train. She had a she could have been making money three years ago. She could have been came up after Clarence. Because I would have. I sure would have been like, oh, I'm his ex. Let me speak out. Let me get my fan base. Because she, she looks good. She worked out. And that was really big during quarantine. She really missed out on like how much money she could have made and how much like traction she could have, she could have got on her YouTube. And honestly, I think she's doing pretty good now. Like, she's at that monetized slot. So honestly, truly, she can be a YouTuber now. That's all she got to do. She want extra money. She don't got to do all this. But I want to get first into how she said they used to watch uh, videos together. Black Queen and Chris's videos together. I don't know why Clarence denied that. But he seemed so genuine in, in these videos. Clarence was like... I really, he, he spoke from a, I really don't want to do this. I really don't want to have to say this. And I really don't want to have to be cool. But I have to say what I have to say. That's kind of the stance that he came from in this video. But I want to know where she got that from, if it's not true. And I want to know if truly, did Clarence forget that? Because I know with me, when I'm done with people and I'm angry and I just want to like let shit go, that... I will forget certain scenes, certain things that happen because I like to delete memories. I like to delete people. I'll be like, we met before? Like I'm I am petty beyond petty. So I know I can forget certain things, especially like when it's unpleasant because I'm trying to move on. I don't want to carry no hurt on to like my new relationships, but it's quite possible that Clarence forgot that detail. But also, it is quite possible for her to have made that up. It could have been like, oh, you're trying to get on YouTube. Like, oh, look at them. Look at this couple. He kind of was like, oh, yeah, yeah, they cool and all that. Not really thinking about that because he was tunnel vision on his goals. We got to take all scenarios into play. So that could have been it. And I just don't know how this could, like, come to this. Uh, that didn't happen. Or we used to watch those together. Like, did she say that just for some tea? Just to make her video a lot more spicy? Because honestly, truly... When I heard that, when she said it, I was kind of like a, oh my God, that's like the wow factor that her first video lacked. That first video was boring as hell and I'm not taking that back. Even though y'all don't like what I said, y'all don't like how I reacted to that, but like, 
that bit, that first video was boring. It had nothing in there. The second video had a whole lot more spice because of that statement right there. So I don't know if she was lying just to bring some more drama to the video, but hey, I guess we'll find out in the next couple of videos because I think Leslie did make another video and we definitely gonna get into that tea, of course. And then another thing I wanna address is how he went into talking about Queen. I thought that was so beautiful. Like, you better stand up for your girl. You better stand up for your queen. You better support her. Clarence seems like he's very level-headed. Clarence may not be as entertaining as her and Chris were, because honestly, truly, let's be real, Chris and Queen together was a hit. That was a commodity. Like, they were interesting. They both were goofy. Clarence a lot more laid back. Clarence a lot more chill. But you know what they say? Opposites attract. Queen is like super high strung and goofy and like kind of out there, don't care. Claire cares about what he says. Claire is like more laid back. It's like a nice little balance, like yin and yang, yang. But guess what? Yin and Yang go together. Black and white look good together, the two colors. So yeah. Um, he's a good guy for her. He balances her and Queen pushes him. Queen basically brings him out of his shell because you could tell he's very uncomfortable with showing his emotions. And Queen is a very emotional being. And that's what he needs. A very constructive emotional being not somebody that's just like emotional and don't know how to express their emotions don't know how to handle their emotions that's hard for him because he don't know how to handle emotions in general so that didn't work that well so i do believe that you can love somebody all you want to you can miss somebody and you can be attracted to somebody but if they're not the person that you need the person that you need versus want will always win over the person that you want for real for real but Let's also get into, I want to get into uh, Clarence's facial expressions. Clarence was so heated. Clarence did the most eye squinting I've ever seen in my life. Now, if this man ends up lying down the, uh, down the line and we'll be like, dang, he said all that just for him not, to, just for it not to be true. This man is dangerous, okay? <laughs> Clarence is dangerous because if he looked me in my eyes like that, and made the facial expressions and he spoke with all that that genuineness i don't believe everything he said i could be an idiot too so if he was acting like that with leslie i could definitely see where she coming from when it came to oh we used to break up and then get back together break up and get back together or like he did some stuff i did some stuff too and he talked to me with them puppy dog eyes then that sincerity i've been weak too so i hope claire not lying I really want to see him as the honest person that he portrays himself to be and that I want him to be. Because, you know, you want to be an honest man. You want to believe that there's honest men in this world that really, truly love their woman and won't do them wrong. You really want to believe that. But back to who wrote the book. This kind of strayed from the topic, for real, for real. Like, who wrote the book? But Leslie say she didn't write it. But... If you're lying about one that y'all weren't broken up, y'all never officially broken up, and then he said that you came to get your shoes and you just left me and say nothing, that sounds like y'all broken up. That don't sound like space. That sounds like, hey, I'm getting my shit and I'm dipping after my party, forget about you. Sound like she lied about them not being together because she wanted to still be together. Or she just didn't like analyze it at the time. Two, if she lied about them watching the videos together. That don't already don't look good as well. And it's kind of making Clarence like a more honest man than her. And three, if she potentially lied about, oh, she's been quiet all these years and she really haven't been doing no other stuff behind the scenes. Because we've seen some of the public stuff she's done, but if she's been doing other things behind the scenes too and they haven't really exposed her for that and she's just acting innocent and playing the victim, like... Like, he said she does, and I kind of peeped. I was like, oh, I think she might be playing victim. You got to watch out for that. And I don't know. They don't make her that credible. But I hope for her sake when she comes out to YouTube, because she's been dragging this out. She, I agree with Clarence. She could have literally just came out here and said, I didn't write the book, have no knowledge of the book, and I wouldn't dare do that. But for her to come out here and start reacting and saying, oh, that's not true, or that's not true. You could have just simply said, I ain't write the book. I ain't got nothing to do with that. But she's dragging it out. She wants to be on YouTube. And she really honestly got the YouTube look. Like, she really can come out here and just come out here and slay. And 
I think she'll do well. She got a lot of women who will leave her. She got a lot of women that's on her side. A lot of y'all in my comments defending her and don't even know her, but yeah, I think she could be successful on her own. Like Clarence said, come out here and do your own thing. I agree. Come out here and do your own thing, girl. Now, as far as who wrote the goddamn book? Who wrote the goddamn books to this to this point? Like at this point, please come, please show yourself, please reveal yourself. But I read some comments. They said Chris wrote the book. I don't think Chris got that much time. And I don't think Chris grammar that good for him to write a book like that. And I don't think Chris would have known all that damn information. Like, I don't think Chris really good fuck like that. The way y'all be trying to paint Chris as like the bad guy or Chris is bitter and Chris is all that. Chris got like some reason to be bitter, but I really don't see Chris writing that. Chris on house arrest. He got time, but Chris been working on music. Chris been hanging out with friends. Chris been trying to uh, sort out his baby mama issues. I don't think Chris had the time to write the book. I don't think it's him. I do think it is somebody that Leslie knows. I do think it's somebody either in her family, somebody like one of her best friends that she used to be on there rapping or trying to like, you know, diss about when she was like on live or she made a YouTube video. Not a YouTube video, but she made a video like kind of clowning queen. It could have been one of them. Because her best friend would know more information, or if she had like a very close cousin, they could know more information than um you know other people would know. But you know, if she's done petty things in the past, I wouldn't put it past her. And I definitely don't think Clarence wrote the book. Clarence is too blessed to be stressed. <laughs> Clarence got his money. Clarence got everything he said he was gonna get. Clarence said he's gonna be rich. So Clarence said he's gonna start YouTube. YouTube blew up for him. Why would he write a book like that? Wouldn't do that. Clarence don't like his business down the front street. Not Clarence. Queen don't have that kind of heart. Because when she could have blasted Chris Sales for being an abuser, could have blasted him for a whole lot of shit, Queen don't do it. Queen didn't write the book. I still think Leslie is the culprit because if Clarence pointed out that she lied about them watching the videos, videos together and he literally is wrong, I mean, he literally is like, right, that they never watched the videos together. Leslie is guilty, and we cannot take her word as Bond, and she wrote the book, and yeah. Now, could that other YouTuber, the first girl who wrote, who um, who mentioned the, the book that nobody knew about, could she have written it? Hell yeah, of course. But she knew a lot of information. She knew a lot of information of how it could be somewhat true, but I don't know. We don't know Leslie's talent. We don't know if she has a hidden talent for writing. We don't know if she has a hidden talent for, like, drama. So, she ain't off the hook, but as her percentage of being guilty, I don't know. I don't know. I need to know if they really watched the videos together or not. I need to know if she really didn't know for real, for real, like, 100% that they weren't broken up. I really want to know all that. And I really want to know, like, did she really treat him that bad? Or did she really want him? Did she secretly want him? Or I really want to know if she really said, if she really came out here just for clout. And if she did, it's a-okay. People do it all the time. People always be trying to, like, scam rappers or try to, like, throw them in a scandal saying, oh, yeah, I'm a transgender and I fucked him. And everybody's like, oh, who's this transgender? Be getting hella followers. People do it all the time. She took a nice, proper entry, but... She didn't execute that well, but anyway, my verdict is Queen and Clarence are happy, happily in love, and Clarence ain't going nowhere. He aspires to go nowhere, as he should. Queen is a solid woman. Queen is a whole ass woman, as he said, and Leslie can be the same woman. Leslie can go off and get her own man and go be live happily ever after now that she has the closure, because this video... This situation, as I said in my part one, this situation provided closure. And I think this is the most beautiful video Clarence ever could have made because he gave her clear-cut communication. Not that half-assed communication he gave before. I just want to do things that I can't do when you're not here. He gave her clear-cut communication of, I'm good where I'm at. She was a woman I needed. I'm happy with this, 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 and that. And this is what you couldn't do for me. 
And not to say that you a shitty woman, because he never said she's a shitty woman. And she might have felt like that. But now she knows I didn't do nothing. I just wasn't the woman for him. And it and it be like that. You know how many people I've dated and I'm not the woman for him? You know how many men I've dated and they were not the one for me as in like, hey, I don't pursue nothing else at this point in time? Like, it happens. No hard feelings. Ain't nothing to be ashamed about. Ain't nothing to feel bad about you. She really got the best, best she really got the best video possible because now she don't have to be like, dang, what did I do wrong? Why was not good enough? What am I missing that other people have? And as she knows, ain't nothing that she was missing. I just really feel like Leslie was the catalyst in making Claire the man that he needed to be for Queen. Leslie, now that she got this video and she got this closure, she got what she needed, she can go be the woman that she's supposed to be for her destiny or whatever. Because I feel like everybody got soulmate out here. I feel like if she handles her emotions better and she stopped walking around with a chip on her shoulder about what she did wrong or everything that Clarence said that, you know, went up about all that arguing and stuff. But, you know, they were young. She's probably not even the same person anymore, but she can go off and be a better woman and not have to have that deep feeling of you weren't good enough. Because that, that, that stings. I had that on my chest for like a long time, for like a whole bunch of years that, dang, I'm not good enough. Or when I didn't do something and things just went left, it's just like, dang, what I do? What can I do to make it better? Like, you don't have that no more. It's kind of like a, I'm just not the one for you. And it'd be like that. That's powerful. But that's how I feel about this. Um, There's more videos to untackle because Leslie got another video. Chris Sales done jumped into it. We got a whole lot more to react to, but if you like what you hear so far, comment your uh, comments below, comment your opinions. We'll go back and forth, we'll chat it up. Like this video, subscribe to this channel, and see you on the next video.